Hey, what's up, guys? This is Dr. Cloud here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. And in the last episode, we took on the Team Aqua Base and we just destroyed it. It was no problem for us. And if you want to check that out, I'll link the playlist in the description down below and you can enjoy all that great content from earlier episodes. But today, we're going to be making our way to, I think it's Mossy City? That sounds right. And it also means we get a few new encounters here. You guys are excited for that. Enjoy, like, subscribe, and if you want to know when these videos go up, I have my Twitter link in the description below. Or you can hit that little bell icon, the subscribe button, and you can know when these videos go up. But for now, let's check this out. Route 124. We're going to go ahead and get our encounter right here. Um, uh, I might. There we go. That's a Yamma. Pretty sure you don't have a Yamma. Just gonna check real quick though. Okay. I do not have a Yamma. So I'm gonna try to arm thrust it. I'm pretty sure it double resists fighting. Yeah, it does. Oh, and now he's gonna... Wow, that's like perfect plays right there. Oh, I just have to throw balls at this Yanma. If it keeps doing this. Okay. That's good. Mm. I got two crits in the five-hit combo, though. That's pretty good. Oh, I'm gonna be looking around. <laughs> Waste your detect. You know, Pokemon with, like, protect or detect fighting against something like Slacking with Truant, you can have, like, the perfect plays. And since everything can learn protect, that's kind of crazy. I'm just gonna throw a ball at this thing because it's gonna get really annoying really fast. Oh, come on now. Don't give me the three wiggles and then just bust out. That's not cool. Jiggling with this three thing. Come on. Okay. Oh. And I have some nice news for you guys. So, you should keep an extra close eye on uh, my channel tomorrow, which is Friday. Because there might be something new coming up up there. Alright. Yanma. It can see 360 degrees around without moving its eyes. It is, it is a great flyer capable of making sudden stops and turning mid-air to quickly chase down its targeted prey. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, and our nickname will be... Interesting. Magda. So we're just gonna make a casual way over here. No problem. You know, I feel like we end up getting a lot of kind of uh, repeated questions. Like, if you guys haven't looked over at the question of the day, it's a fairly simple question. Like, I feel like we're getting a lot of kind of similar things, but I think it's it can be a more in-depth conversation if you know how to do it, which. I don't, but, you know, it's fine. There we go. So, since we're talking about it, 
and I brought it up. Uh, the question today is looking like it's saying, oh, come on, Tam Rat. Wasting my turns. So, question of the day is looking like it's saying that, uh, oh man, I'm spacing out. Okay, one sec here. Okay, so if you had like one year left of your life, what would you do with it? And that would suck for me right now because I'm currently going through school. And I kind of feel like I've just wasted like the last like year or so after high school. Because what am I really doing with my life then? If I'm just gonna, you know, like die in a year. But the first thing that comes to mind is like I'd want to like travel around the world, see everything that I could. Like at that point, it wouldn't even like if you know you're gonna die in a year, it wouldn't be a fact of trying to save myself. It would just be using the time that I did have. And travel is just something that I've always wanted to do. So I just like take out a nice loan and just travel. Because when I'm going to die, and then what are they going to do? Try to find me? Ooh, I forgot you got double kick. That was a crit. And now you're gone. Man, this slacking is just like busted. Coming out here with the bone, he's got his poison on his other arm. Starting to use his arm thrust and strength. If you could use like combo moves, like just strength would back everything up with more power. And this is taking like a lot less time than I thought it would. I thought he'd run into more encounters. What's this house? Hunter's house. That's very specific. Um, I just want to get my blue shard. Sure. At least I can sell it for money. Yeah, that's it. I think I already have a Sharpedo, so I couldn't even get that. Nice. The levels range so much in the water. Am I still in the same water? I'm on Route 124, right? Yeah. And I'm almost to Moss Deep. Which did not take anywhere near as long as I thought it did. No, I'm actually gonna go ahead and see if I can get my encounter for Moss Deep. This is just gonna be an encounter episode, honestly. Nope. Maybe I'll fish. I think I get the super rod here, don't I? Or maybe I could have got it somewhere else, I don't know. If you guys are- oh wait, I think he actually uh, teaches me something. Kicking guy, too. Oh, is he not only one of them does? Yeah, I guess so. That's weird. Just real quick, I'll have to see if I can get the super rod here. Because maybe I'll just fish up something of that instead. I'm not gonna lie though, my team's been set for a little while here. And 
and I personally love my team. Yeah, I know that's uh, Steven's house, so it might be here. I don't actually know. I'm just kind of looking around right now, seeing if we can find fishermen. No. Uh, it's right around my bike here. Down. I think he gives you something. Doesn't he? Nope. But there's an item over here. Nope. Probably should empty my bag though. Center and empty out my bag. So I guess I can go ahead and heal if I haven't already. I'm also realizing I'm really bad at steering a bike. In real life, too. I am terrible at riding bikes. Just so you guys know. Go sell some stuff and grab, get some more walls here. Probably some more medicine too. Um, next special. Max survive. Revival herb. I should have really good luck though. We're just gonna get it up to 50. Use this new item. Nope. Maybe over here. No. Come on now. There we go. There we go. There we go. That took a little while there. Marowak. Um. Okay, you do not have a Marowak. Last tooth encounter is the Marowak. I thought I would play the tail, why not? If 
feel like nothing ever gets poisoned from my poison tail. Oh, that's right, you loaf around. Catching legendary in this is gonna be fun. You know, I really thought about using Bone Meringue on this thing, but I feel like I might kill it. Truant is such an annoying ability. Kinda wish I randomized a bill. Oh, that was close. Don't poison. Okay, we're good. Kinda wish I randomized abilities, because I'm slacking me really viable. Although it would really suck if I randomized abilities and he still got truant. Or if he did get slow start, that'd be kind of funny. Like, it makes sense that... Is he the only one who has truant? Like, the only Pokemon? Because I truly can't think of another one. A Marowak is the evolved form of Cubone that has grown tough by overcoming the grief of losing its mother. Its tempered and hardened spirit is not easily broken. That's really sad. Okay. Let me see the name over here for it. It's gonna take me a little while here. Okay. The name is looking like... Interesting names. Alright, we're just gonna continue this theme of getting encounters. What's this guy new? Oh. scary. I guess the more it uses the leer and can't actually do anything with it, then the more I can just heal. Just trying to bait out our revenge. I'm honestly just going to keep spamming it because my other two moves aren't going to help much in this case. Oh, you have Gus. Which didn't really help much. Okay, I feel like now Ember or Ice Ball can take this thing out. There we go. At least I can take out Legends. With most mostly ease, I guess. There's a little bit of, like, initial fear. Okay, let's go ahead and get this encounter. Uh, let me switch Tam right to the front. Tam's 
Hammer and Cast both just need to get stab moves, and then they're actually viable. Like, I can't believe I get Thunderbolt and Thunder Punch, and Hammer I can't learn either one. I kind of want to check that again, because that just seems really unlikely. I feel like a Jolteon could learn a decent amount of moves. And blow the EV away. Nice. Man, I remember when I caught this Tamrat. Okay. We're gonna look around for this encounter. That's funny. Real quick, I do want to check seed. I mean, if I'm right about that, you can't learn either one of these. Nope. Nope, that was right. That's actually crazy. I think I- did I never catch a Wormpole? Nope. Okay. Beautify is my encounter. It hits level 5, okay. Let me just throw a great ball. from you if, if I <laughs> if this is actually an issue because like any one of my moves can take this thing out the best thing I could do is like put it to sleep okay that was barely even worth the balls I threw its colorful pattern wings are its most prominent feature. It flies through the flower-covered fields, collecting pollen. It attacks ferociously when angered. I can't imagine a beautiful attacking ferociously. It's like a little doll with wings. Okay, so we got another female name here. Okay. I'm gonna name this one... Nicole. Look at that, I filled a box. Oh, I already bought her. Just let me slip past you. Nope. Oh look, it's higher level. I should definitely catch it now. It's like a cave up here, is there not? Or am I just going like the wrong way to get to it? I really don't want to throw up repel or anything, because then I'm gonna have to run it off. Shoal Caves. I know it's around here. I just don't remember where. Is it up this way until I couldn't find it? Yep, there we go. I just went up the wrong way. Oh boy. 
I think Mantine actually has a kind of high catch rate, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it to sleep so I'm not wasting anything. Stay asleep and just let me catch you, okay? in the scrape ball. So I really don't want to have to start throwing ultra balls out of man time. Thank you. On sunny days, schools of Mantine can be seen elegantly leaping over the ways. It is not bothered by the rim raid that hitches rides. Okay, what gender are you? You are male. So, the name generator says, ooh, I like that name. Name is, Raphael. So it seems like a really powerful name, Raphael. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get the encounter for the route right below Moss Deep. And then I think we're gonna call it there. So let's see, Route 127 is Nidoran Female. Nope, nope, nope. I have a Nido Queen, so I can call species on this. Okay, let me try fishing. Let me give me a little bit better luck. Okay. Yes, there we go. East town, east town. That's better. Okay, what am I gonna do to this thing now? I, I feel like he can survive in air revenge. Look at him, he's beefy. Yeah, look at that. I'm actually kind of scared of this thing now. Um, I doubt two great balls are gonna catch this, but I'll try it. Okay. Oh boy, you have hail. That's gonna be annoying. He doesn't have ice body. He basically just uh, countered my leftovers. All right, you can just stay in the ball right now. Nope. Wow. Wolverine and Dugong are just, they seem like they're really close. 
like in general with Pokemon, they get fairly similar movesets. And they have the same typing, you know, other than Walrein to switch. And in general, they're based on different Pokemon, but they, they're fairly similar. There we go. Alright. To protect, to protect its herd, the leader battles anything that invades its territory. Even at the cost of its life, its tusks may snap off in battle. I mean, look at those things. Of course they snap off. They're huge, like elven tusks. Okay. So we're looking for a female name this time. Um. A man. Dying. Interesting. And on that note, we're going to head back to Moss Deep City here. And I think this will be a good time to call the episode. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please think about liking and subscribing. And remember, I'm always trying to get the word out about this channel. You know, it's a small channel, but I like to build a very good community here. So, if you guys want to help me out, I'd much appreciate that. But, always remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, so please, it's good fruit. I like zucchini. Have a zucchini.